Hello Citrix community and welcome to my new video in which I want to show you how to use your personal computer from a mobile device. This will be managed with Xen Desktop but, and this is the point, without any Xen Desktop environment in the background. To show you that it is really Citrix Xen Desktop, I just play a song in the background and will move my session from this, my personal computer, over to my mobile device now. I've prepared for this already the connection. I will teach you later how to do this. As you can see now, my desktop moves from my personal computer over to my mobile device. And as you can also hear, probably in this video now, the sound is coming from my mobile device. Now I can start here and log on on my personal computer. I could also prepare the connection file that my credentials are relayed, but if the laptop got stolen or I lost it anywhere, the guy would also have my connection to my personal computer, so this would not be a good idea. As soon as I'm logged on, I have the full control over my personal computer, which went now to, let's say, standby mode. So let's just go here and stop the music now. Okay, so it's stopped. And as we use HDX in the background, and as we have Xen Desktop, Virtual Desktop H in the background, we can also use HDX 3D Pro Graphics. This HDX Pro Graphics enables us to use our dedicated graphic card, or for example, gaming graphic card, which is located in my personal computer, to render graphics, to render games, and so on. For this, I have already prepared a game called Reckless Racing, just to show you how the look and feel of this game if you use it through your mobile device, through your mobile connection. So in the background you can see now the game starting. It will ask me now for the information for the game. I just set up a session here. You can hear also the sound coming through the HDX remote protocol. And there the game is starting. So I'm the guy in the grey car with the Firebird. And you can see the game is performing very well, but not my skills. My skills are not so good, I don't play this game very often. But I think you understood what I'm talking about. So this game is rendered on my personal computer and it's just a screen redirection which I get here. And now if I'm done with my mobile device, for example, I say, okay, I stopped working now and I want to log off. I just go and log off my user. And the screen moves back to my personal computer, back to my home. And as soon as I arrive at home, I can log on back to this machine. So what have I done? What am I doing here that this all works? First of all, I just want to show you what's needed here in the background. You will need three things. The first thing of all is Xen Desktop. You will need the Virtual Desktop Agent on your machine. Depending on your operating system, you can use Xen Desktop 5.6 or you will need the upcoming and new Xen Desktop.next version, which is at the moment only available as a tech preview. Depending on what date it is now when you're watching this video, it maybe is already released. Anyway, you need to go to citrix.com and select Downloads. Then you will end up on this site and you will need to select Product, Xen Desktop and select Download Type Components or, like in my case, Betas and Tech Preview. Then select the Find button and you will see Avalon Excalibur Tech Preview. If you do not see this, you will need to log in with your MyCitrix account. I already did this before. Then select Avalon Excalibur and on the following page scroll down to Project Avalon Excalibur Tech Preview and select Download. Now the license agreement comes up, accept it and start to download manually or with the download manager. After the download has finished, please extract all the files and run the setup wizard to install the virtual desktop agent. The virtual desktop agent installation will ask you for a desktop delivery controller, so he will ask you for your Xen desktop environment. Try to skip this point or just enter any controller in address that you want, it's not necessary for us. When it comes to if you want to activate 
HDX 3D Pro graphics. Uh, you can give him a file from uh, old Xen desktop version or from the version you are actually using. The tech preview accepts also the file from Xen desktop 5.6. When you're done with this, normally you cannot connect now to your virtual desktop because the virtual desktop agent only accepts connections to the machine as soon as the desktop delivery controller tells him to open up the ports. They are normally closed out of security concept reasons in the background. So what you need now to do is to configure your virtual desktop agent to skip this and to accept connections from the first second on the machine starts. For this you will find an article that is called High Availability for the Virtual Desktop Agent. You can find it through Google but you can also see it below in the links I mentioned. Here is uh, the needed registry key. It's High Key Local Machine Software Citrix Virtual Desktop Agent in where you need to add a D word which is called High Availability and set it to value 1 to enable high availability mode. The second thing is you want to edit and add the D word HA register timeout. Normally it would uh, wait five minutes, so this 300 seconds you can see here, that uh, he can connect to a desktop delivery controller and at this point he will start to open up the ports. So if you edit and add this D word, you can set it for example, like in my case, to three seconds. Please don't set it to zero seconds. I had problems. He did not open up the ports. So three seconds is good for you. Just enter it and it's fine. So now after you restart your machine, it will accept connections on the default ports. Now you have the problem. You cannot connect to your machine because you don't have a web interface or an access gateway. So how would you now build up a connection? And this is done uh, by manually creating a launch file or by using the Citrix Quick Launch tool. The Citrix Quick Launch tool, as you see here, is available through the Citrix homepage and you just need to download it and extract the three files which come with it. Then open it as administrator and this is the Citrix Quick Launch tool. It asks you for the IP address of the machine, which is in my case the local area network IP, which would be in your case, for example, the uh, external IP address if you connect from your home office to your ho uh, to your work computer or in the other direction. Then, as soon as you enter here the IP, please please click on Options. Now you can select here if you want to connect to a Xenap server, a Xenap application, or like in our case, to a Xen Desktop. Now it says you have to activate high availability mode. We already did this, so just skip with OK, and below clear the credentials. As I mentioned before, it's not a good idea to uh, relay all the credentials because if someone gets this file, he can connect to your machine and I don't uh, think that you want this. Before I now create a file, you can go to session options. In here you can choose if you want a seamless window, a full screen session, if you just want it uh, in a smaller resolution or whatever. Here on the side you can also choose the color depth and the encryption level. Below you have also the possibility to say that you don't want a client drive mapping and that you just want uh, a low audio quality and not high audio whatever. As soon as you're done in here, go back to the general tab and click on ICA file. Now it asks you where to save and you can just type a computer name like my PC from external and save the file. This file, now send it through email to your, to your office account or wh wherever, but uh, there is one little limitation and this is you cannot run this file from an iPad or from an iPhone because uh, the Citrix receiver on those devices asks for the ticket and the lifetime and we don't have those informations in this ticket. So, uh, And that's the reason why it will bring up an error message that this is not a valid connection. So this is only for machines like a laptop or a home office computer and so on. So if you now close this, you will need a restart of the computer to accept connections. Before you do this, you can also go ahead and configure policies. Hmm, policies configure, yeah. 
Even if you don't have a Xen Desktop infrastructure in the background, you can configure policies. For this, you need to open up GP Edit MSC, which is the group policy editor for your local machine. On your left hand, you see Computer Configuration and Citrix policies. And in here, for example, in my case, I changed the controller registration port, which is used to connect virtual desktops to the desktop delivery controller and tell them that they're up and what's their state. This port is by default port 80. And if you use, like in my case, in the background, an Apache server, it would interfere with it and you could, yeah, and you could get troubles. So I changed the port to 999. Here in user configuration, it would be also a good idea to edit this policy because in the default configuration, the USB device redirection is not active. As you can see here, the new Xen desktop policies look a little different like an older version. So there are no categories on the left hand. They changed it to a drop down. I don't like it. I hope they change this back. But at the moment, we have to live with this solution. So in here, for example, go to USB devices and say client USB device and allow it. OK, OK, and you're good to go. Now give your system a reboot, wait some seconds until the, the timeout uh, is reached and then you can connect to your machine. It does not matter if your computer is locked or if you're locked on or locked off, you can use it in any state. So if you have any questions, just give me a comment below this video or post in the Citrix support forums and I will answer you. I hope you liked it, so please subscribe to my videos and have a good time. Bye!